What's up, party people? And I have a new ROM for the Pocophone F1. That's right. And I am rocking Lineage OS 16.0. It's based on Android Pie. And Face Unlock works. So let's check it out. All right, so I have the Poco phone here, and it is running the Lineage uh, ROM here. Now, this is based on Android Pie, like I said, and it is totally stock Android. Unlike MIUI 10, which runs the MIUI software, and but this is totally Android 9.0, stock Android, similar to the Pixel 3 XL and the Pixel 3. Very similar. I mean, it's identical. Um, but one of the great things is face unlock work. So I wanted to show you that first. If we go in here and we go into security and location, and then you're going to go to something called smart lock, and then you're going to put your pin when you, you got to set up your pin when you're doing uh, face unlock, and then you go to trusted face, and then there you're going to set up your face. And I'm going to show you now that it works. Let's see here. Turn this on. Boom. You see that? Boom. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna move my face away from the camera and show you that I can't I can't unlock it unless I have the code. And then I'll do my face again. Boom. So you see face unlock works, and that's really good because I know on the MIUI ROMs that IR face unlock is excellent. But now you get it on this ROM, which is excellent, excellent, excellent. Now to install this ROM, you have to unlock your bootloader. You have to install Twerp Recovery. I'll leave some links down in the description so that you can do that. Also, there's some instructions how to install this ROM, and I'll leave that down below also in the description below. But as far as now, this is running the navigation gest gestures from Android Pie, as you can see. You swipe up, you get your most recent apps. You can go back and forth between apps. See if it works. Ooh, look at that. I got a little, uh, <laughs> I, shrink, I shrink my screen, as you can see there. But it, this ROM works really, really good. If I can come up, get out of this, I guess. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, you can shrink your screen so you could do one-handed uh, mode there. But yeah, this, this goes back and forth. You could do multi-screen. You could do all kinds of things with this. This based on the Android Pie gestures. And the way you get the gestures, because when this is set up, it doesn't have the gestures. It just has the regular navigation. But all you got to do is go to gestures, and then you're going to pick that, and you're going to swipe up on home button. And that's basically the deal there. But really cool. It's got the navigation gestures. The other thing that I like that it has... If you go into settings display, it has something that's called dark mode. So if you choose style, choose system of color. Now you could pick dark. You could do it automatic. So it works with your wallpaper, time of day, light or dark. So let's pick dark. Boom. See how it changed the, the your settings all to dark. Now the other cool thing is that once you're in the dark and you go to advance, choose style, you have now accent colors. Kind of like oxygen os on the oneplus 6 6t and all their devices so you could pick a different color so let's go ahead and go banana boom you go now all your accent colors are yellow so when you bring down your drop down you in the yellow mode baby so not really feeling the yellow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try a little i like green green green's my color man green is green is my green is my jam so we're gonna do forest green right there. Bam. Now you set up so you don't have to worry about. Um, there you go. Now you set up dark mode. So you really don't save on battery because it's an LD, LCD screen, but it's kind of nice to be able to have that kind of customization on the Lineage ROM. Now the other thing that they do on this ROM, this ROM has the digital wheel being, so you can keep track of the you know, your apps that you've been on and that kind of thing. Uh, it tells you everything that you've been doing, that kind of thing. So it's kind of cool. It's one of the features that uh, Google has on Android 9.0. And this is a cool little feature, but you can go in there and kind of check it out. 
Uh, real neat feature there for digital well-being. Keeps track of all your apps and stuff like that. Now, I did a benchmark on here. Let me see if I can find it. I know I did it. And it ran about, oof, let's see, uh, around two something, something like that. Let's go to albums. Let's go to, there's some pictures. I'll show you those pictures in a little while. Uh, screenshots. There we go. And that's what the, that's the benchmark that I got on this ROM. Now, MIUI 10 uh, is at 285, 290, sometimes 300,000. But this isn't bad for a stock ROM. Now, it's not going to run as good because this phone's optimized for uh, MIUI 10. Now, as far as uh, gaming is concerned, um, gaming is, does well on here. I mean, if you pull up a game on here, it's going to play for a good half hour without getting warm. So you're good to go. Asphalt 8, all those games. So you won't have any issues there. Now, this phone comes with a camera already installed, but it's more like the, um, it's the, it's the regular camera from the Lineage ROM, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, so it's kind of like the, I don't know, like the old CM camera. So, but I downloaded the Google camera, the G cam or the pixel three camera, and it works pretty darn good, man. Um, I'll go through here on some pictures so that you guys can see there's my dog chilling out, doing some shots. I took some selfies here too, I believe where, uh, it, I think I thought it came out pretty good. That's me in the backyard relaxing. Came out pretty good with the G with the Google camera, Pixel 3 camera. So I'll leave a link down in the description for that also so that you guys can um, download that. But that's that's a really, really good camera to install. I think they have a new update starting with December 1st. So you may want to check that out. Now on the sides here, you got your um, screenshot. So if you want to take a screenshot, you're good to go. Boom, done. And you can also edit right away. Uh, it's right there. You could share, edit, or delete. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. We don't need that screenshot. Um, but yeah, it's a stock ROM. How do I compare it to the Pixel Experience ROM? This one's pretty good. I have to give this one the edge because it is a little more stable. Uh, Bluetooth works. Phone calls work. Everything pretty much works. Um, when you go to the tube, we're going to go to the tube here. Check out a video. Uh... Let's just pick any old buddy from the place to be. Um, let's see. Let's give somebody some love. Who can we give love to? Who can we give love to? Who can we? Let's give Forbes some love, right? So you pull up this video, and you could also it also zooms in on there for you. So if you need to watch a video zoomed in, it has that little button right there. Where's it at? Oh, there it is. See on this on my right finger, right thumb. Well, it was there well it, there's a little button there that usually pops up but I'm gonna use this one here it's kind of and then if you want to zoom in boom you get full screen with the notch and you're good to go shout out to Forbes he's a good dude he, he does a lot of good videos so check out his channel it's called Forbes tech reviews he's the man but yeah YouTube plays full screen you got no issues there so if you're worried about that uh, speakers are good. I mean, obviously, it's just a, it's just saying it's just running a new operating system. But this runs really, really good. I'm really ex impressed with it. Um, I'm really enjoying it uh, for the Poco phone. I think it's um, I think it's a winner. Uh, I really, really like uh, this ROM on here, and it's totally Android. If you got any questions about this ROM, remember you got to have an unlocked bootloader. You got to run twerp, twerp recovery, and you got to install a few files to get this rocking and rolling. I'll leave a link down in the description uh, how to install it. So, But if you got any questions, hit me up. I'm Android Stuff. Follow me on Twitter, also on Instagram. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. You're following me with the Pocophone and different things. But yeah, this is the Pocophone F1 on the Lineage stock Android Pi ROM, and it's pretty darn stable. Also comes with a messaging app of its own. But I did the Google Messages on here. So um, that'll do it. I'm Android Stud. Thanks for watching. That is the Pocophone F1 on Lineage. Peace.